House, without objection, a motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. There's the redhead. The chair will remind all persons of the gallery that they are here as guests of the House and that the manifestation of approval or disapproval of proceedings is a violation of the rules of the House. There you have it. That's the official declaration that it has indeed passed the House of Representatives. Not a surprise, but historic, Megan. Certainly historic and a significant achievement for the president, going back to what Kevin Cirillo has said. And if I can, not to be so wonky, but pick back a little bit on what Kevin Hassett was saying, what we were talking about here about reforming the corporate tax code in particular and whether or not it will lead to that growth and economic productivity boost, which economists in many respects think it will, although at a much lower degree. What is going to be you know, interesting about this is whether or not you can sell that. Because remember in Washington, many times it's not only what you can achieve, it's what you can sell to the people and trying to explain to people the benefits of a territorial corporate the tax system, um, the advantages of actually taking that corporate rate down are difficult. We should not underestimate how difficult it is to explain to people about investment coming in, about why this would allow people to move more jobs, to make, you know, the Googles, build plants, the Apples. That is not an easy political argument to make. So it's, yeah. it's, it's one thing to pass it, it's another thing to sell it. This is a terribly important point, Marty, because the fact is, if you gave that rebate into people's uh, mailboxes, they could go out and spend it right away. Mm -hmm. A lot of these things having to do with taxation and investment and productivity, that's down the road. If you sell this too hard to your constituents, Constituents that it's going to make their life better, they're pretty quickly going to say, when is Where? it going to happen? I haven't seen it yet. That's a, and Megan's exactly right. It's a very difficult thing to sell. And uh, especially since, you know, we're not seeing the kind of job creation that uh, would lead people to feel comfortable about their futures, the disenfranchised people in the economy who have stopped, who have withdrawn from the workforce. Um, that said, the stock market's at a record. Uh, people's 401ks are at historic highs. People are feeling relatively good, and if this uh, if this passes, and of course it won't uh, take effect until next year, it may in fact have a salutary effect on the midterms. But we'll have to wait and see if they'll connect that to this. GOP and this president. But let's remember too on the stock market that the benefits of high stock market and your 401ks disproportionately benefit the wealthy who are invested in the stock market and who also have their 401ks. Not dissimilar from this tax bill where the majority of benefits are stacked at the top of the pyramid. That's right and those are not Donald Trump's base. <laughs>